Hello guys, S2W here with your next casual consumer's perspective review. By the time this video is uploaded, it should still be Christmas in some parts of the world, but regardless, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone. I just wanted to put this video review up, or I guess close up looks of the second colorway to the recent Nike and Off-White collab release of December 2018, rumored to be the second last release of the original The 10 collection. Today, I have The 10. Nike Air Force One Low by Off-White in the black colorway for a review. And if my video has helped you in any way, it would be lovely if you can hit the subscribe button to support the channel. Now my intention in this video is mostly for those who need maybe a visual reference for legit checks as I have already done a review of the alternative Volt colorway, which is essentially the same shoe but in a different shading. I'll most likely end up talking a bit more in depth anyways, but I was able to hit a W off of a raffle here in Toronto from Livestock Boutique. This silhouette release marks the first official worldwide launch after the OG colorway from the 10 dropped in 2017. Sometime in the early in 2018, two more versions of the Air Force One lows dropped as well, but those were extremely limited as it were exclusive releases. One at ComplexCon featuring white leather and a silver swoosh, and another a Museum of Modern Art release featuring black leather with a silver swoosh. Now entering a year after the original 10 had released, Virgil Abloh, the founder of Off-White, has continually dropped follow-up colorways to the original 10 silhouettes throughout the duration of 2018. Rumor has it that this cycle is close to ending soon, but without further ado, let's take a closer look at these sneakers. As we can see here, this version of the shoe does take on a black base shading than a flashier one. If you did notice, almost every follow-up releases of the 10 contained a black colorway alternative, and this reasoning was really only revealed yesterday from this video's upload date, where Virgil explained that a black sneaker with white swoosh was always his favorite color combo, hence why it was always featured in his follow-up releases. Frankly, the black iterations were always the more wearable option and most people do fancy more of these basic tones, so they are usually the more preferred option every time these follow-up colorways were launched. Different than the Museum of Modern Art pair, this Nike and Off-White collab with the Air Force One Low takes on the advantage of using mesh instead. The whole shoe is technically made out of three different compartments, with the toe box and midfoot canvas using traditional mesh material that feels spongy by touch which is usually thin and great for ventilation. To recreate the perforation spots found on the leather versions of the Air Force Ones, this pair came decorated with multiple dots as well. However, they're not punctured at all and it's really just like dabs of black paint to imitate the traditional iconic look. Toe guard wise, they've used a secondary piece of canvas with a netted diamond design. This part of the material is seen near the ankle collar as well and has more of a structural strength to it. This is great because it'll provide a little bit more durability to those areas where it needs protection and structure. The third and final compartment is the heel counter, where it consists of another material that's tough by touch and again, provide the necessary stabilization and strength for our feet to keep it locked within the footbed. Of course, we can't forget the iconic off-white and Nike branding of this shoe, including a stitched on swoosh at both sides of the sneaker. The zigzag patterning suddenly turns black for a second on the lateral swoosh to weave the popular orange tag seen on every off-white and Nike sneakers thus far. And for your information, the tip of the Nike check leaves hanging off the top rather than stitched onto the shoe, which is a unique stylistic choice also seen on every off-white Air Force One low models. Swoosh-wise, it's white on this colorway, using the same material seen on the Volt colorway where there's repeating lines on it. So if we rub against it or scratch it, it's the type that will make a zipper-like noise. As for the medial profile, everything is basically the same besides the exception of the orange tag, but instead, another iconic branding style is added here shown by the text, which supposedly depicts the details of the collab companies, model of the sneaker, place of origin, and date of creation. On this follow-up release though, because the swoosh is opaque, it does block those wordings so we'll only see the start and endings of the info. Looking at the back of the shoes, we will see a piece of suede hanging off the heel tab, with a Nike swoosh embossing and the word logo in quotations as well. We will also see a series of codes and references at the heel counter too. I don't particularly know what it means, but the center wording definitely says men's basketball. On top of the shoes, we will see more suede overlays that act as lace openings for the flat black and gray laces to thread through. Just like the Vault colorway, the lacing feels rough by touch and it's the kind that will hold its shape more easily due to its stronger properties. Regardless, just like all the other previous releases, the laces are decorated with the shoelaces print in quotations near the lace tips. And if you don't like the looks of these laces, they do come with a separate bag of white ones with the word shoelaces in orange instead. 
As for the tongue, it's cozily padded just like the Volt colorway, using the same netted design we've seen at the toe guard for its outer surface. It also shows its deconstructed theme by exposing a foam layer around the edges too. This foam exposure is also seen around the edges of the ankle collar and heel tab as well. Inside the sneakers, the inner wall lining is padded generously too, with quote-unquote removable insoles that would require you to rip them out as they are slightly glued down to the footbed. Last but not least, the midsole and outsole is made out of the same materials we've seen on any other Air Force Ones, featuring a tough rubber sole with a Nike Air unit inside that would deliver a lightweight underfoot cushioning. On the lateral side, we will see the word Air in quotations, which is a design choice seen on every Off-White and Nike collab. The traction pattern looks exactly the same to other Air Force One models too, offering the necessary and historic durability it had always provided. Anyways, here are some of the 10 Nike Air Force One Low by Off-White in the black colorway fit footage. Sizing-wise, I went down half a size and it seems to work for me even with wide feet. I've tried a true-to-size pair in the Volt colorway and it was way too big for me, so my recommendation for you is to go at least a half size down if you can. Comfort-wise, it's okay. The cushioning won't be as favorable as some of the newer technologies available in 2018, as this Nike Air and rubber outsole did get introduced in the late 70s or early 80s, so it is quite old. It's not outdated by any means, as it still works great for today's usage, but don't expect it to be soft or squishy, which is the sensation that people took a liking of in recent years. Visual-wise, you can't really go wrong with a black and white sneaker. For those who want to stand out in a more low-key vibe, this colorway definitely works better than the Volt colorway counterpart. Price-wise, they were 230 Canadian dollars before tax. Not something too expensive under the collab umbrella, and certainly a well-worth model to keep as Air Force Ones itself is such an iconic silhouette in Nike's lineup. As always, throw me some likes if you like this video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments what you think about this colorway. It seems like the only silhouette left so far in the original The Tang collection are the Air Max 90s. The black colorway on that pair looks strikingly similar to these Air Force One lows. So to be honest, if I do miss out on those, I'm happy that at least I was able to score these black Air Force One low. That's it for today, S2W signing off.